Hey guys, happy May and happy EDS and HSD Awareness Month. My name is Chronically Jenny and this is the sixth year in a row that I am bringing Ehlers-Danlos Syndromes and Hypermobility Spectrum Disorder Awareness Month videos to you with some lovely zebras from all across the world. There are 13 types of Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome and several types of Hypermobility Spectrum Disorder and they all range in severity and in rarity. EDS and HSD are connective tissue disorders. Connective tissue is the stuff that makes up all your body. It's made from collagen, which is like the glue that holds your body together. And in the vast majority of types, you can see hypermobility of joints, which means they are able to overstretch a normal range. You can see skin hyperextensibility, which basically means stretchiness. So skin can be really lax, stretchy and fragile. There is also a lot of fragility, both internally and externally. It can cause easy bruising. It can cause a lot of chronic pain. Most of the people in this video today live with either hypermobile Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome or hypermobility spectrum disorder, which are the most common types of these conditions. And instead of continuing to sprout off dictionary definitions of the condition, I wanted you guys to hear what it's like from the people themselves. Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome is... Frustrating, complicated, but it also gave me answers. Pain, 24-7, all over my body. Unpredictable um exhausting and bendy <laughs> fatigue and being tired constantly all the time i'm sort of used to bit the pain in my joints and stuff like that um but being tired and fatigued is quite draining it's you're tired from being tired it causes joint pain it causes joint subluxations and dislocations frustration that your body can't keep up with and do all the things your mind wants to do. How would I describe EDS in 45 seconds or so? Um, exhausting in that it takes up so much of your time to manage. Not just that you're tired all the time because the energy level is low, but even when the energy level is relatively high for me, I'm still spending so much of my time and energy managing my symptoms otherwise that it's emotionally exhausting even beyond just physically exhausting. Does that make sense? Having easy it can feel like one thing after another. A new symptom or body part that's affected comes up again and again. Paciencia y constante adaptación a síntomas, diagnósticos y tratamientos. EDS is a lot. Dealing with chronic illness can be physically, mentally, and emotionally draining. Feeling hungover 24-7, 365 days of the year hard work it can be very lonely and isolating at times and it's a never-ending cycle bendy fragile and emotional journey it's a daily battle fatigue brain fog uh, joint soreness they're the main ones um, until i have an event um, and then those events can then lead on to more serious uh, symptoms if I have to describe EDS in three words, it would be chronic pain, it would be fatigue, and it would be planning. Uh, my energy levels are quite low, um, and you have to plan the things you need to do, or you want to do. Um, from smaller things to like house chores, like taking a shower and such things, but also planning uh, like bigger things, family birthdays, if you want to visit a museum and such things, I really have to plan like the energy I have, um, take rest in front, how much rest I can take afterwards and such things, which mobility aids I take, like the stroller for around the house if I go to the supermarket or such things and the wheelchair for visiting a museum. It's painful as exhausting and also as isolating since it can be lonely sometimes living with such a misunderstood and as well a rare condition nerve pain in my legs um i suffer from nerves nerve damage um so when that flares up it feels like someone's getting a summy needle and literally jabbing it like you would if you had to have a tattoo but on, on your nerves to me living with eds or hsd um means that my joints heal really slowly i have a sprained ankle right now that is taking a really long time to heal and also that my joints do this. <laughs> it's a 
lot of uh, hypermobility. Well, I also suffer with ADHD, depression, anxiety, I get chronic migraines, I have temporomandibular joint disorder, um, so my, joy, my jaw is very clunky, I also have flat feet and dysautonomia. Fatigue um, sometimes, I overdo it the day before, I run out of spoons and, and then the next day I can't get out of bed. If there was one word that I could use um, to describe EDS it would just be relentless. Thank you so much for watching and for listening to all of those beautiful zebras talk about their experiences with Ellis Danlos syndromes and hypermobility spectrum disorders. I'd love it if you'd watch more videos on my channel about EDS to learn a little bit more. And you can watch the rest of the series, which will be coming out very, very soon. If you've liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and come back and watch the rest of the series. Sending spoons and love your way. See you soon.